All praises to the Almighty, creator of all things, and the master of the day of judgment, our Father, hallelujah. We love you, Father. And to our most beautiful mother, Mariala, much love, honor, and respect, mother. We love you, mother. We ask for wisdom in this judgment news. Y'all know the Hebrew roads of Jericho been in great battles with y'all. Yes, led by our Holy Mother, Marihala. She is adored above all with the Most High, and she's adored above all with me. Our beautiful Mother has led us into so much magic, and I was given this very strange assignment that's not in your books it's not in your books at least not the ones uh, that we have um, access to yeah all of these magical things have been uncovered on this journey and I just want to free flow through that while you enjoy the footage I will stop from time to time you know, to speak on these things because in the first area that we're going to go to is where Marihala, Uriel the Archangel, and our Father gave me a great gift to let me know that I was called to a mission to show these worlds without end and what he showed me in this area makes it undoubtable. It confirmed me on the inside. I was like, wow, what is this? You know, it was very hard showing these things that had never been seen before. And I felt so unsure and I felt so dumb when it came to, you know, producing these things. As a matter of fact, what you're looking at right now more than likely, I was taking, uh, I would, instead of having a screen recorder, I actually recorded this from my tablet to my phone. Now, all of this area is cloaked over now. And guess what? It's like a full circle because this is right below Uriel's fist. Yes, this area is right below his fist in Niger. <laughs> now this area is all cloaked over. You know, this is when uh, Google Earth uh, uh, had the coordinates at the bottom of the screen. And I used to always say, I have evidence that this is real. The coordinates are at the bottom of your screen. You can go and visit these places on your own. And for some odd reason, they removed the coordinates, yeah. And I thank the Most High because they took down a lot of my old videos. Only two years of videos are up now. And so I lost a lot of images. But for some reason, I wanted to show this again because it was so important in my journey. See how magical that is? So I had to screen record uh, a video that I had did earlier. And... Um, <laughs> I'm so glad that I did this because this area is now all cloaked over. I can't just go there and visit Randolph anymore. So y'all know my original handle was the Hebrew Widow. Yeah, I lost Randolph in uh, 2016. And I'm telling you, I loved him so much. You know why? Because he loved me so much and our love energy was so powerful. And I was in so much grief. Let me tell y'all, I'm just now the last couple years, um, I'm not grieving. But the first five years, I probably drove everybody crazy talking about Randy. Yeah, he was so beautiful and nice and kind and generous and loved me and thought everybody in the world wanted me. <laughs> yeah, he had a little jealousy too. He was so handsome and I loved him so much. Yeah, we would play games all of the time, you know. 
Uh, we would play spades, we would play gin rummy, and then I started trying to learn how to play chess. And Randy, he was like very good. And so every game that we always played, once I learned that game, he could beat me, beat me, beat me. And then once I learned the game and I learned his moves, he could hardly, I would beat him 99% of the time. So in chess, I couldn't learn. He wouldn't let the games last long enough for me to learn. <laughs> so I'm just now really picking up chess, you know, the last few years. And, and that was all to prepare me for what I'm doing right now in Judgment News. Yeah. But anyway, this is my beautiful, beautiful husband, Randy. Let me tell y'all about Randy, okay? Um. I met Randy, he was uh, a contractor and he was coming over to do an estimate. And um, I, I was in construction most of my life, so I really went wanted in on that meeting. I had went to church that morning before he came, came home, cooked for me and my mother. And then I went and took a nap. And so in that time of the nap, Randy came over to give my mother an estimate. And so uh, they didn't let me, they didn't wake me up to let me know that he was there. So I heard some talking and I got up and I had just got out of bed. I had on an old raggedy, <laughs> oversized, wrinkled denim dress. You know, my hair looked like I had taken a nap and I came outside barefooted so I was looking real bad that day anyway I came out I peeked outside and I saw him so he told me uh, he, he told me later on he said when I first saw you I was like oh my god I'm gonna love her so much and he did he did that was a beautiful beautiful thing so love at first sight is real and my mother the night okay so he came over and we talked and talked about what uh, my mother wanted done and uh, so he came in sat down and talked and we started having conversations he started asking me about me yeah so we started talking like that so when he left hours later actually my mother told me, she said, I'm going to tell y'all my first name now, okay? She said, Jennifer, that man loves you. He's in love with you, girl. And I was like, Mama, that man don't even know my name. And she said, you don't think I know what I'm talking about? I know what I'm talking about. And so that's where our story began. Yeah, and uh, we loved each other so much. Love is real, ladies. Love is real. You see, before Randy, I never had anyone um, that adored me or anyone that didn't like me for who I was. It was like people trying to change me, uh, you know. And then some of them, you know, they cared about me and they loved me but was not in love with me. I'll put it like that not in love with me. I haven't had a whole lot of relationships, but the ones that I experienced, I didn't feel the adoration and I didn't feel the love. And I'm sorry, but I, I didn't. It was something that I always longed for. And then there was Randolph and he was so handsome and he was built like a bodybuilder. Yeah, ooh we. I fell in love with Randy, but not right away because I wasn't trusting. At that point, I said, you know what? I'm just going to have friends that when I want to go out dancing or go out to eat or go to the movies, I just call one of my friends and we'll go Dutch, you know, and I'll be autonomous because, <laughs> you know, so far relationships were so disappointing to me. And so at that time, I had like about three different friends and um, they understood that we were friends. We had fun together, you know. And, you know, that was it. That was it. I had got to that point where I didn't want to date, you know. And I didn't want to get intimate with people that didn't care anything about me. 
And I was at that point when I met Randy and he showed me a whole new world, spiritual world of love. Our world, our, 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 our love was so powerful until I found him. I think I found him in 2019. So this was really a time where I was like really crazy. When he died, I really did. I really did lose it. I lost it. I really did. You know, that's one of my first videos when I first started. I was just, I'm already corny and goofy, but damn, I look at myself and I say, wow, <laughs> that was crazy. Or this was crazy, but somehow this sense was coming out of it. I was just so like dramatic because, you know, I had just lost Randy. I had lost it and I was trying to do something to try to help save myself. And so when I started my uh, channel, I was in that state of mind, about to lose it. And uh, I started my station and that gave me a reason to get up in the morning, and make myself up, make myself beautiful. You know, had me a little project where I tried to stage my little videos and stuff. And it gave me something to live for. Yeah, so at that time, that rescued me because then I knew. I said, Randy made it, hallelujah. He's in a beautiful heaven that's so fitting for him. Look how beautiful it is. And then I was all right from that point. I knew he was, I knew that he made it. He was still alive. He's just in another dimension. Yeah, and he's spiritual now. He's a spirit. Yeah. So that was my, that's one of the stories of my beginning. So the places that I'm showing you are all cloaked over now or the appearance of the, the grounds are quite different. Then after the Most High showed me uh, all of these magical places then, or I'll say authorized me to find them. Then mother led me to the most holy place. Now that place, the appearance is quite different. I'm going to do another video on that one. I just want to show this one because this was like the confirmation that I'm truly connected with the 5D. They know exactly who I am. And I know I came on this mission to do exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I was chosen, and this is so specific, it's undoubtable. Yeah, hallelujah, and then the Most High showed me that most holy place. Yeah, and the appearance of that place has really changed. And then Mother led us on a, a mission to battle our enemies. And so we've been in war. I mean, I was so tired and exhausted, but it was like a good thing. It was a good thing because I love what I do. I love the magic of it. I love the connection. I love being honored by the Most High for Him to bow the heavens and hear me. And of course, He doesn't worship me, but He chose me. So He honored me. And Mother honored me. The Archangel honored me. And so did Dope. And I'm not the only one. You see, we were known before we even got here. We were known in the spirit realm. Yeah, the children of the Most High Mari Hala, we are the elite. And we were elite before we even got in here, yeah. So then Mother started leading us on this battle. She said we were in a great war. She led us on a battle. And we have had victory after victory victory it seems as though you know just like Job how the Most High gave the challenge with Job and said have you considered Job he's a perfect and upright man he was perfect in his generations anyway he was tested and the Most High gave the challenge and in our case it's like, in my mind, I could see the challenge being this. It's 
like my children are going to come into this 3D dimension and they're going to whoop your ass, Satan. Satan say, well, how can I whoop them if they know what they're connected to? If they know who they are? How can I ever beat them? Because their words are they'll just, I don't have a chance. So the Most High say, you can erase their memory. You can make, you can erase, I'll erase their memory of who they were before they got into that dimension. And I'll even allow you to erase their memory of who they are at some point. I'll let you assign it to your own. I'll let you assign their identity to your own people and, and they'll forget about all about who they are. And they still gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> because you only have a time allotted for them to have an identity crisis. You only got so much time with that. I'm going to give you, I'll give you four centuries of you just building up on, you know, your little kingdom under my children's identity. I'll let you play all your shenanigans and with your laws and governments. And I'll even let your children, you know, be allowed to be put in places high places, spiritually, wickedness in high places. I'll even allow that, but it's going to come a time, hasha time, that I'm going to wake up my children. I'm going to wake up their DNA, and they're going to know where they came from. And they're going to snatch back their identity, and then it's over. Then you're going to have to battle the real. And all those things that hasha time was afraid of, it's happening now, Star Seed United. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were all chosen before we even got here. Hallelujah. Well, y'all, I made me a wonderful uh, veggie omelet and some French toast and some grits. And so I'm going to spend my day just enjoying myself somehow. I'm going to find something to do that I like. Go buy me something nice or go do a little visiting. Yeah, today's going to be a high vibe day for me. And I hope you do the same. I hope you have the most wonderful day of your life. Bless you all. Yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah, thank you so much for joining in this battle. Yeah, and to all of our allies and friends, bless you as well. Yeah, bless you as well. May the Most High bless us all to have the best day of our lives. Abracadabra, so be it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. And thank you for your comments and joining me in this fight. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Yeah, and we're very successful and victorious. All praises to the Most High. And thank you so much for your gifts of love. They're very appreciated. Yeah, may the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. Okay, you guys, until the next magical show, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom.